I'm Scott Milner, a Joyce Chair Professor of Chemical Engineering at Penn State. In this short video, you'll get a quick introduction to my research group, meet three of my PhD students, and learn a bit about their projects. I joined Penn State in 2008 after 20 years as a research scientist at ExxonMobil Corporate Research, where I worked on polymer properties and processes. My group consists of about six PhD students and about four research undergraduate students. We're a theoretical group using molecular dynamic simulations, quantum computational methods, and analytical theory to explore the properties of materials at the nanoscale. We're interested in a broad range of materials, including semiconducting polymers for organic electronics, such as solar cells, uh, electrolytes, for lithium ion batteries, and biomimetic pore molecules and membranes uh, with potential for water desalination. We also investigate fundamental material properties and processes, such as how chain structure controls entanglement in uh, polymer melts and how polymer crystals nucleate from an undercooled melt. And along the way, we develop new simulation techniques like an efficient method to measure the osmotic equation of state for ionic solutions and very sensitive approaches to quantify the tendency for two uh, species to demix. Hello everyone, I am Ritvik Kali, a third year graduate student at the Milner Lab. Before moving to Penn State, I did my bachelor's in chemical engineering from Jadapur University in India. Here, my research involves a biomimetic polymer membrane with artificial water channels for water desalination. These membranes are essentially a self-assembly made up of surfactant molecules containing a hydrophobic and a hydrophilic segment. However, it is these water channels which facilitate selective transport of water across the membranes. The water channels are essentially synthetic biomimics of aquaporin proteins found in nature. In this slide, you can see a biomimetic pore molecule transporting a single file of water across the membrane. This is an enlarged view of the single file transport. Owing to a rigid pore dimension of about 5 angstrom and terminal carboxylate group that can be seen interacting with counter ions present in saline water, these biomimic channels have high water permeability combined with excellent selectivity. We vary the surfactant design to study its effect on various aspects of the system including membrane architecture, pore configuration, channel stability and water mobility. However, the most interesting part of my research, apart from, of course, trying to mitigate global water crisis, is seeing molecules dance around on my laptop screen. Being a keen observer, I find visuals and animations like these very helpful in fueling my imagination and keeping me motivated in my research. Hello, I'm Shreya Shetty, a graduate student working with Dr. Miller, co-advised by Dr. Enrique Gomez. And I did my undergraduate studies in NIT K Suratkal in India and started my graduate study right after in Penn State. So to briefly explain my project, we the materials that we use in most of our applications have more than one species and their and their performance or behavior is strongly tied to their morphology. To understand the morphology, we need to understand the tendencies of the system to demix. And we measure these tendencies to demix quantified using Florey-Huggins interaction parameter in simulations. Chi determines whether a mixture forms a blend or phase separates with vague or sharp interfaces. So it is important to understand chi. To determine chi, the first approach we develop in our group is to continuously transform the chains from one species to another in a simulation series and measure the work required to transform. This work can then be used to determine chi. For structurally unrelated species like shown here, which are used in organic electronics, we have second method. In this, a series of simulations, we determine the work required to completely separate the mixture by switching off interactions between species. By also measuring the interface energy, we can then determine calculate chi using demix free energy. Slightly less sensitive, but effective for all types of molecular structure. It is very satisfying to watch how simple but effective simulation tricks let us do stuff which are, would be very difficult using conventional methods or experiments. My name is Vineet Bobili. I joined the Milner group in the fall of 2016 uh, due to my interest in asking questions about polymeric materials and designing molecular simulations to understand the structure property relations. 
Here, I want to show you a few examples of projects I've been involved with and how my experience has been working on them. In my first project, we worked on understanding entanglement properties using molecular dynamics of bead spring model of polymers. As one of my first tasks, we designed a chain crossing technique to equilibrate long chain polymers. This reduced the simulation time from scaling as n cubed down to n squared. This avoided months of waiting time. We developed a comprehensive set of tools to conveniently visualize and quickly measure properties such as entanglement length, cube diameter, and plateau modulus. We observed master curves that uncovered scaling regimes and their boundaries that depended on chain architecture and polymer concentration. With the knowledge of the computational tools that I gained here, I was able to take on other interesting projects such as understanding the reduction in monomer friction in extensional flows and uh, projects such as modeling the phase behavior of polyelectrolyte complex coassurate solutions. A key common approach to our work is clever use of molecular dynamic simulations, which with care can reveal the behavior of molecules in a chunk of material a few hundred angstroms on a side for a few hundred nanoseconds, or on larger length and time scales if we use coarse grain bead spring models. Thus, each of my students has their own broad field to explore, and at the same time, uh, a group of fellow explorers to teach and, and learn from. We're always looking for energetic, brave, clever new group members who are interested in finding out how things work microscopically. If that sounds like you, contact us at the email below and let's talk.